the 2006 edition of the Monte Carlo Masters was the last one with the best of five final in the full drive 64 players, Roger Federer played against Novak Djokovic in the first round, with Rafael Nadal toppling Roger Federer 6-2, 6-7, 6-3, 7-6 in just under four. Hours to defend his title won in 2005, things had changed significantly in 2007, with the first round bye for the top eight seeds and the best of three final that saw another clash of Federer and Nadal after they both defeated all the rivals in straight sets. The Spaniard was the dominant figure in the Principality once again, winning the third consecutive title in Monte Carlo and the first without dropping a set after a 6-4, 6-4 triumph over Roger. This was their 10th meeting on the tour and the 7th win for Nadal, the 5th on clay, extending his dominance against the world no. What well, started back in Miami 2004 when Rafa was just 17. The encounter lasted an hour and 35 minutes and Nadal had the edge in the more extended exchanges to secure his win, pushing Federer's backhand to the limits and making more damage on the return. Nadal saved all three break points he faced to keep the pressure on Roger and one break in each set was enough to deliver the title for him, spreading his Monte Carlo winning streak to 17. Nadal made the difference with his second serve and due to the fact he had just 19 unforced errors in comparison to Federer's 38. Also, the Swiss served at 55% and that plagued his chances as well, having to play against eight break points and suffering two breaks. Roger had the opportunity to earn an early break, sending a forehand long in game two to miss a break that would have been very important for him. Eager to avenge that tight loss from 12 months ago, Federer was the better player on the court in the opening eight games, earning another break point with a smash winner at 4-3. Nadal fended it off with a service winner before giving Roger another chance to gain a significant lead. His forehand couldn't find the target and that was his third and last break point with Nadal closing the game after another mistake from his rival. Federer paid the price very soon, spraying four errors to drop serve and find himself 5-4 down, leaving Nadal to serve for the opener. Instead of moving 40 to 15 up on the return in the next game, Roger landed a loose forehand and Rafa sealed the set with a forehand cross-court winner for a 6-4 after 47 minutes. Federer had to save a break point in the opening game of the second set before Rafa fired a backhand down the line winner in game 3 to claim the break that carried him towards the finish line. Federer reached deuce on the return at 2-3 although Rafa kept his composure to bring it home and create a 4-2 gap, making another step towards the title. It could have come in the next couple of games, with three breakpoints up for grabs in the next game that Roger defended all to bring the game home with a service winner and stay within one break deficit. Rafa was not to be denied, though, holding at love in Game 8 and earning a match point on the return a few minutes later. Federer saved it with a forehand winner and delivered a service winner to make a hold and force Nadal to serve for the triumph. The Spaniard was in a good rhythm in his games, sealing the deal when Roger sent a backhand long and celebrating the third straight Monte Carlo title as the first player to achieve that since Selena Stace in the early 70s. Let's block ads. Why? 